I really used uh, several tools for music class. And the number one that I really like is the music blog. Students can go there and see their work, give opinions, and it's an extension of the class. So the students who cannot really get the concept, they can do it when they are um, visiting the music blog. Another one that is my favorite is GarageBand. With GarageBand, even the little ones can record with a quality um, app their voices, their instruments, and when they're bigger, they start learning how to mix two tracks. Um, I also use some score um, notation, like uh, four score or another ones. So it's nice for them uh, to try uh, about the notation in music in a fun way on the iPad. Um, I also um, try to use one that is um, about the sound. So when it's too loud, uh, it, it tells you. Mm? Uh, I would like to start using next year Smartboard. Uh, I haven't in the past, so I will try to learn because I saw very interesting lessons with, the, um, with that uh, wonderful tool because it's much more fun than just uh, with a normal board. So it's interactive, made the class very much fun and everybody can go there and have fun and learn something that is not um, so musical like the theory. So I will try to use that one. Um, I think it's very beneficial to use mobile in music class. There are so many tutorials, so many things that the children can do using different apps, but uh, the teacher is still needed. And it's a very kind of special kind of teacher, is a coach. This is what you really do when you really train people to do music. You coach them. The posture, the breathing, the techniques, the way you attack the instrument is very technical. And even though somebody is copying the tutorial, you need that coach telling you what you are doing right and what you need to improve and how to do it. So in that matter, all the tutorial haven't really replaced the teacher. But if they have a very good base on techniques, it's possible to keep on going with tutorials. That is my experience with piano especially with adults, after a couple of years, maybe three years of a good base on techniques and repertoire, they can study uh, by their own and just ask specific technical things that usually what they struggle is in rhythm. The notation is not a challenge anymore, but usually the big channel is going to be rhythm. And it's interesting because it's the same thing that is a challenge in an orchestra. Conductors differentiate and they're uh, so, so unique because they are before the time, after the time, right in the time, and that is what they're criticizing.